Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out a new desktop. This desktop you might not have heard any time before. So the name of this desktop is Lumina desktop. I have opened up the website. This is the lumina-desktop.org features. So let us begin with the features and we will slowly introduce you to the desktop. So the Lumina desktop is designed to be fast and customizable, flexible and lightweight. It works great in multi-monitor configurations and with higher resolution monitors that is 4K plus as well as single screen configurations on laptops or tablets. Lumina is designed to work out of the box without end user apps and requires fewer dependencies than most of the other desktops. Lumina desktop does not require any policy kit, HAL that is the hardware abstraction layer or the, or the system D. This makes Lumina very portable and the desktop can run on most flavors of BSD and GNU Linux. So now let us check out the desktop features. So first uh, of all, it is quick to easy, uh, quick and easy to configure. So it consists of uh, configuration files which are in text form on the back end. The desktop will dynamically detect configuration changes to adjust as needed. Appearance profiles can be easily used to reproduce the look and feel of other common desktop systems. Custom appearance profiles can also be created and used. The entire desktop appearance is governed by a simple plugin system. Show desktop icons for files in desktop directory or hide everything for more minimalistic look. Add desktop widgets to the screen like application launcher icons, audio file player, calendar, notepad, RSS, atom feeder, system statistics monitor that is CPU and memory and temperature monitor, desktop links for removable media if supported by your OS. Customize the right click desktop context menu, like shortcuts to any or all of the applications, launch basic applications like terminal or file manager, provide a task manager for the true desktop minimalistic, provides a way to run user created menu scripts to dynamically generate new types of context menu items. All this can be done using the Lumina config, which is the Lumina configuration utility. So now we will proceed ahead. Lumina is extremely minimal and can be used on systems with as little as 1 GB of memory. So you can use this uh, on very old desktops like those uh, in the 2000s decades. So up to 2010-2012, most of the desktops had uh, 1 GB of RAM. So you can use Lumina desktop on those systems and you can bring them back to life and you can make them productive. So it is an environmental friendly decision to make uh, older systems work so that re reduces the e-waste it is very self-contained and does not require any particular utilities or libraries aside from few uh, very small uh, handful of libraries lumina is designed around the concept of complete modularity your applications are completely independent from the desktop itself and can be added and removed at will without loss of functionality and there are some optional standalone utilities that are provided in the Lumina desktop. There are many utilities that, utilities that are developed alongside the Lumina desktop to ensure that a full range of functionality is available if nothing other than the Lumina desktop and utilities are installed. So in case if you only install Lumina desktop and the utilities, so you get a wide range of choice of utilities that can be installed. So you don't find any uh, missing uh, feature or functionality if you only use the Lumina desktop and the related utilities. Each of these utilities are available independently of the desktop and can be built or used as a separate standalone utility on other desktops or operating systems as desired. These utilities have special integration options when used in conjunction with the Lumina desktop. For example, the Insight file manager is there. So, it has got all these features. So any typical desktop, all features that are available in a typical desktop are built into this Insight File Manager. So we will check this out when we will uh, do the detailed review of the Lumina desktop. Then there is a application that is this file archiver. So you, can, you have got archival capability in Lumina desktop. And of course, you can use all these uh, utilities from the command line uh, itself. For example, this Lumina Archiver can be used from the command line also. 
and this uh, inside file manager also can be used from the command line for example to give commands to the lumina uh, this uh, file manager inside file manager you have to use the lumina dash fm to make it work on the command line then there is a scientific calculator the name of this application that is lumina dash calculator and it can be also used from the command line so it works with a uh, keyboard number uh, numpad calculator history can be saved as a text document and advanced scientific calculation is included so that's great now there is a text editor also called lumina dash text edit or LTE and it can be used using both these names on the command line. So it is a typical text, uh, text editor. You can check out the details about the features here. I will leave a link of this web page in the video description. Then there is uh, multimedia playback and Pandora radio streaming. So multimedia playback and Pandora radio streaming are available. So for that you have got this Lumina media player and it can be run from the command line also. So for running it on the command line, you have to use Lumina dash media player in the commands. So it, it, it will uh, recognize the media player and start it from the command line. You can create and edit screenshots. So Lumina dash screenshots is available as a utility to do uh, create or edit uh, screenshots and it can be also used from the command line. PDF Weaver is available as Lumina dash PDF. So it is a typical uh, PDF Weaver with most of the functionality that is available in any other PDF Weaver. So you can check it out here. All the features are given and multimedia monitor management is provided through Lumina dash X config and it can be configured from the command line itself. And the features uh, are given here. You can read it in detail. Now let us go over to the Wikipedia page of Lumina desktop. Lumina desktop or uh, environment or simply Lumina is a plugin based desktop environment for Unix and Unix like operating system. It was designed specifically as a system interface for TrueOS and system der derived from the Berkeley software distribution BSD, but it has been ported to various Linux distributions. So it was created by, uh, by Ken Moore in 2012. Lumina was initially a set of uh, extensions to Fluxbox and a stacking window manager for the X window system. But by late 2013, Moore developed a more graphical overlay for the Fluxbox based on Qt4 and had created a utility for launching applications and opening files. The code base was integrated into PCBSD source repository by early 2014 and a port was added to the free BSD ports collection in 2014. The source code has been moved to a separate GitHub page or repository under the PC BSD umbrella and converted to use Qt5. Development also focused on replacing the Fluxbox core with a Qt based window manager integrated with the Lumina desktop. The project avoids the use of Linux based tools or frameworks such as DBus, Polkit, and the System D. So the System D free uh, system enthusiast will find it attractive because it does not, uh, does not use System D itself. So you will find it very attractive to use in on your system if you are hater of system D. Second, now the features are given. The desktop and the application uh, menus are dynamically configured upon first being launched as the desktop environment files itself applications automatically to add to the menu and as a desktop icon. The default panel includes a start menu, a task manager and a system tray and its location can be customized. Menus can be ad, uh, assessed via the start menu or by right clicking the mouse on the desktop background. Some features are specific to TrueOS including hardware control of screen brightness, preventing shutdown of a updating system and integration with the various TrueOS utilities. So we already checked out what utilities are available. Now with the version 1.4 of the Lumina desktop, the PDF re uh, reader is based on the popular li library. The Lumina theme engineer replaced an earlier theme system. It enables the user to configure the desktop appearance and functionality and ensures all Qt5 applications present a unified appearance. So these are the ports of Lumina desktop to 
the BSD systems and the Linux distribution. So it is available uh, in TrueOS, Dragonfly BSD, FreeBSD, NetBSD, OpenBSD, and the KFreeBSD. So these are the BSD distributions. And in Linux distribution, it is available in NTX Linux, Arch Linux, Debian, Fedora 24, Gentoo Linux, Manjaro, NixOS, PC Linux OS, and the Void Linux. So further, there are some notes, references, and external links. So and you can uh, check out, check out for yourself other things. So now with this, I will stop the video here and see you in the next video where we will do the installation of the Lumina desktop and then we will immediately check, uh, do a detailed review and check of the Lumina desktop. See you in the next video. Bye.